Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Miss Sophie. The title is, I Speak From My Heart To You. And this was originally posted April 17th, 2020. At first I kept hearing, like a drunkard, the earth reeled to and fro. And here is that verse. Isaiah 24, verse 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. My daughter, write these words down for me. Do you not realize the times you live in? As suddenly as the virus came upon all and caught all off guard, a new suddenly will suddenly be upon you. Again, most are unprepared to deal with the onslaught of what is about to take place in your nation. Life will never be the same even after the lockdown is temporarily lifted in certain areas. You must continue to take all precautionary measures when out. This pandemic is not simply going to go away. They have a new one after this, which will be far worse. Their depopulation agenda will continue until my return. They would annihilate everyone on earth if I do not return. Not one soul would be left alive. You are dealing with enemy forces that no mortal can withstand if you are void of me. The reason I came was to save, not destroy, so you must get on board with me. Their moves are strategic in nature, and like dominoes, you will fall faster than you ever thought possible. As stores run out of supplies and famine fills the land, people will be slaughtered over a can of beans. Many will become a meal for those starving. There will be no holds barred, each man for himself. Your houses will be pillaged as they look for food. Rioting will be the norm, as will cannibalism. No one will be safe if they are not sheltered under my wings. Money and all the electronic toys will become worthless. The mark of the beast will be the only way to acquire the minute amount of food and water they will give, just enough to keep you barely alive and a slave under them. Everything you do will be monitored and is already in operation. They know your every move. Now listen to me, children. As Moses led my people out and away from the hands of Pharaoh and his army, so I again will lead my people out. I am your safety net. I will be your cloud by day and fire by night. As they spent 40 years in the wilderness, their clothes and sandals never wore out. They did not starve and were provided for. I am the safe haven, yet you were told to prepare also. I can multiply anything I desire to and feed my children. If you will continue in willful sin as they did in the desert wilderness, you too will perish, for you are in complete disobedience and rebellion. You will have to walk according to my ways, not yours. Do not think my eyes will spare those who continually defy me. Do not test me during these times. Much tribulation is coming, unlike what anyone has seen before in this nation on the level it will arise to. It will continually speed up, and you will barely be able to keep your head above water. Between the ongoing weather catastrophes, pandemics, job losses, as your economy and growth continues to dwindle, civil war, war of man against man for food, as famine will sweep across this nation, invaders invading your land, martial law, tyranny, Who will be able to stand in the end? Do you understand? 
Hear me loud and clear. I made the way, so walk in it. You must, and I repeat, must repent continually. For the days are here when your words, thoughts, and deeds will be opposed to me. Children, these are no longer the times of sitting as the dead in your churches, but these are the days when you will see the walking dead, those that have the RFID chip in them. They are no longer mine. DNA changed and forever of the kingdom of the damned. You will see things you wished you would never have to see, and not all will see this, but some for many of you will have been martyred by then or taken home another way. You who thought your science fiction movies were all in fun will soon realize you are living in this nightmare. I am only giving you a synopsis of what is coming and there is much more than this. Unimaginable horrors. As I am the soon coming King of Kings, you must listen to me. I love you all so much, more than you know. My love has no bounds for all those who truly love me. I gave my heart to you. The definition of love was my flesh torn to pieces, then hung on a tree at Calvary. I was unrecognizable. This is the love I have for you, as I knew what the future would hold if it was decided that I should not come. That is how deep my love is. I did this so that you would desire to have a relationship with me and see I am not the enemy, but the one who always desired you not to perish, but to become a joint heir in my kingdom to come. You are your own worst enemy, children. Do you honestly believe you will get out of this without me? With your shoot him dead cowboy mentality? Children, this is not the Wild West. The weapons of destruction they have now, you cannot take down. They have weapons to use you have not seen yet. Fallen angel technology is far more advanced and a couple hundred years ahead of your time. These were given to all those that are the most evil of Satan's. You have not seen the most evil one of all time just yet. Many of you are already calling for him to come back. You will not and cannot make it on your own, of your own free will, consumed in pride, that you will take them all down. You are in deep trouble if you believe this is like a war from generations past. Remember, you live in times of such evil and not the days of old when eyes looked up to heaven. You cannot save yourselves. The hand of protection was lifted off for all the sins committed against the babies and little ones along with all their other sins against humanity. Evil has free reign, and you gave it a legal right to be here. I am the Savior. Satan is no Savior, but has many convinced he will save them, and that he is me. Satan is under my feet, and I, Yahushua, have the victory. The eighth king is about to rise, and he will destroy everyone in his path that refuses to adhere to his beast system. The persecution will be as such as none have come against before. What you call persecution in this nation now is nothing compared to what is coming. I tell you again, repent, 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 for this is all to begin with far more intensity and frequency, a time of sorrows. Much wailing will be heard throughout America. America's fatal and great, greatest error was coming against a most holy God, creator of the universe. Kingdoms are raised up and kingdoms are torn down. America, your time has come to reap all that you have sown. And how dare you think you have more power than the Almighty. This nation was blessed beyond measure and life was breathed into it. And now... 
the life of this nation will soon be snuffed out for good, and will be a wasteland and a habitation for the jackals and every foul creature that roams the earth. America, all that will be left will be smoldering ash as the smoke of her burning will arise to the throne room. Come out from under her now, my people. I am your only way out, your only blessed hope. I am your ticket to paradise. This world fades away soon. Give me your heart. Do not be foolish. My arms are open to receive you if you cry out to me. A contrite heart will never be denied. And as the thief on the cross, you too will be with me in paradise. Do not wait for the last minute. You do not know when your last minute on earth is. Seek me now while I can still be found. Many who procrastinated before are now down below. I speak from my heart to you. I will hide you under the shadow of my wings, but you must confess and ask me in to be your Lord and Savior. Who will be able to stand before the judgment seat of God? This is all for now, child. Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.